Does your guitar sound like this? I'm guessing you'd prefer it to sound like this. Today I'm going to be walking you through the three most popular types of guitar tuners and help you decide which one to buy. Let's get into it. Now there are many types of guitar tuners on the market, so I'm going to start by showing you the pros and cons of each. If you don't want to spend any money, then any one of the free apps on either iOS or Android will do the job just fine. Just download like any other app from your mobile device and you're set. While these apps are absolutely free and they work perfectly well, they do come with downsides. The first one being, all guitar tuner apps tend to use the internal microphone of your device, therefore making them prone to picking up not just the sound of the guitar, but any sound source around you. And unless you're in a very quiet environment, this can affect drastically how accurate and responsive the guitar tuner is in representing each note correctly. Not to mention the hit and miss approach of making sure your phone is close enough that it can hear what you're playing, but also that you can see the screen while tuning the guitar. All in all, these apps are a good choice if you're just starting out and you don't want to spend any money, but they definitely come with their own set of issues when compared to other guitar tuners on the market. Without a doubt, Stompbox or floor pedal style guitar tuners are the fastest in both accuracy and response time from when you play the note to when the note is displayed on screen. These are a great choice if you're in a band doing regular live gigs or you do a lot of recording. The industry standard of Stompbox style floor guitar pedals belongs to Boss with their TU series, whether that be TU 1, 2 or 3, as they're known for their robust build quality and can handle many years of being stood on repeatedly in live shows and having beer spilt on them and still keep working the very next day. The biggest down side of these Stompbox style guitar tuners are their cost, as they're easily the most expensive of all the three guitar tuner types we'll be talking about today. Another downside is you need an instrument that allows you to plug into, such as an electroacoustic or an electric guitar. So if you play a standard acoustic guitar with no input jack, then this tuner is probably not for you. Which brings us to my preferred choice for most guitar players, the clip-on style guitar tuner. There's very little downside to purchasing and using one of these clip-on style guitar tuners. They're generally well-made, incredibly responsive, and very accurate. They're also very convenient. All you need to do is clip them to the headstock of your guitar, or for that matter, any instrument. It'll work on a ukulele, bass, violin, anything you can clip it onto, it'll work with, with no extra cables required. And most importantly, they're very affordable. Now, unlike the app style of guitar tuner, which relied on the internal microphone to pick up the sound of each note, this style of tuner responds to the vibration that's produced when you play a note on your guitar. This means they're far less likely to be influenced by other sound sources around you. Now, while there are many makes, brands, and models of different clip-on style guitar tuners on the market, I would strongly recommend going for this one, the Diodario Eclipse. I've tried many of these clip-on tuners throughout the years, and there's been certainly some good ones, including many guitarists' favourite. <laughs> However, I feel that the Dear Dario Eclipse has the upper hand. It has a great user interface and a nice, clear, easy to read, bright LCD screen. It can rotate 360 degrees and can be placed anywhere on the headstock. And because of that, anywhere you place it on the guitar headstock, you will get a great viewing angle. It's also incredibly accurate, responsive, and it comes in a variety of colors. Not to mention some of the other clip-on style tuners I've owned in the past have all ultimately fallen apart or given up the ghost and just died completely. So which guitar tuner should you buy? It depends. If you have zero budget and you don't want to spend any money at all, but you would still like an in-tune guitar, then go with a free guitar tuner app. My recommendation is Fender's own guitar tuner app. It's got a great user interface and is very clear and easy to understand. If you need to be able to tune in noisy environments, such as live band rehearsals or gig situations, and you want the most accurate and responsive guitar pedal, then go with a Stompbox style tuner. My recommendation is any one of the TU style boss tuners. And if you need a guitar tuner that's there every day and is very conveniently placed at the end of your headstock every time you pick up the guitar and also works in noisy environments while being accurate and responsive, go with the Dia Dario Eclipse tuner. I'll place links in the description for all of the tuners I've recommended in this video. And if you purchase any of the tuners through the links below, I will earn a small commission. Okay, so that's my three most recommended guitar tuners. Hopefully that helps you decide which guitar tuner to buy. Feel free to leave any questions down below in the comment section and let me know which style of tuner you prefer. And if this video helped you to decide which guitar pedal to buy, then consider subscribing and like below. See you in the next one.